ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन आई एम लोकेश्वरी फ्रॉम आर एम डी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो इन दिस सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लेक्चर सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू हैंडल द टॉपिक ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग प्रैक्टिस सो लेट्स वी मूव ऑन टू द टॉपिक स्टूडेंट्स सो सो वी मस्ट नो वॉट इज मीन बाई दी सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोसेस राइट सो actually a process is said to be a collection of activities or actions and tasks that are performed when some work is going to be created say for example if you are going to create any project we should know what are the tasks what are the actions which are there to complete the process and let me come to the form of an activity activity defines the how many people are going to involve in this project what is the size of the project what is the time constraint of the project those things will be uh, assigned in the activity concept and then next one is the action so action is like how we are going to uh, implement the project it encompasses a set of tasks that produce some major work product in the sense how we are going to implement the how we are going to implement this project so that is said to be the action next we going to the concept of a task so a task focuses on a small concept okay like um, if you are building a pro if you are try to create a project so like uh, what are the requirements are there collecting the requirements from the client is also considered to be a task which is of minimal effort okay so this is about the software process so in software process we described about what is meant by a process what is meant by activity what is meant by action and what is meant by a task let's we move on to the next one so next one is the software engineering practices so it is a generic software process model which will be composed of set of activities that establish a framework for software engineering practices it means is that a generic model means it will be applicable to all the process models so that's why we call it as a generic software process so each and every framework consists of the communication planning modeling construction and deployment so let's we move on to the communication so what is mean by communication so how we are going to communicate with the client side how we are getting the requirements from the client side that went all noted in the communication and the next one is the planning so in this planning concept how we are going to implement the project like uh, uh, like like how many, what is the time constraint to uh, complete the project those things will be there in the planning and then modeling comes under the topic of designing like how your project should look like those things and all will be there in the modeling and then finally uh, construction in the sense just like our layout we are going to execute the final project and once it is executed you have to deploy the final project so that is said to be the deployment okay so in this software generic practices it is a generic so why i am call it as a generic it is going to be uh, uh, implemented for all the process models that's why we call it as a generic model okay let's we move on to the next one so the next important topic is the essence of <coughs> software engineering so essence of software engineering consists of four parts one is the understand the problem second one is plan a solution third one is carry out the plan and fourth one is the examine the result for accuracy so these are said to be the uh, essence of software engineering so we should understand the concept like uh, like communication analysis you should uh, you should communicate with the clients and to analyze the problem whether it is feasible or not those things and all there in the understanding problem next you have to model a solution okay plan a solution how to find out the solution for this particular problem how to execute it so that's those and all there in the plan a solution and five, third one is we have to for carry out a plan comes under the code generation and finally we have to examine the result for the accuracy so this is the testing and quality assurance like at finally we should uh, examine whether the product is working right or not whether it um, uh, satisfies the quality uh, quality constraints like uh, throughput uh, performance so those things and all there in the examine and uh, result for accuracy <coughs> so 
Oh, first one is understand the problem. You should assign, you should ask the questions like who has the stake in the solution to the problem? That is, who are all the stakeholders? Like stakeholders means who are all the customers involving this problem? And then second one is the what are the unknowns? Like what are the things which are not known to us? You should find out the solution. What is the required features are required to find out the problem? So those things are there, the what are unknowns. Next one is third one is that can the problem can be uh, splitted into smaller problems so that it is easily to understand. Like if like uh, we can, whether it is feasible to split the problem into modules. If I solve the module one by one, I can finally able to uh, complete the final answer. <clears throat> and then can the problem can be represented in the in the form of a diagrammatic way. So that's why it is called as the and the problem can be represented as a graphically. Okay. So this, in this way, you should understand the problem and then you have to ask the self questions like self assessment. And then next we move on to the next one, like plan the solution, whether these kinds of problems are there has been happened in the before itself. Okay, or else as a similar problem has been, if you have faced a similar problem like this, if so, what are things you have taken? What are the actions you have taken to solve the problem? Hmm? And then so, so that if it is there, means so can I able to use the same solution for this problem also? So like the likewise, you have to as, assess yourself. And then can you represent a solution in a manner that leads to the effective implementation can a design model can be created so these are said to be the plan solution and then next we move on to the carry out the plan once i plan the solution so for each and every problem there will be uh, like multiple solutions are there you should find out uh, you should select any one of the solution and execute that plan and then is the source code is traceable to the design and then is each compartment part of the solution is correct or not you should find it whether it is applied to that algorithm you should find out so that is why it is called as the carry out the plan and then next is so finally these are all the final conclusions so you have to find out uh, four things like uh, what are the uh, steps are there understand the problem design a prop find out a solution plan a solution carry out the plan and finally you have to uh, okay, execute that means code you have to execute finally you have to implement it so these are all the content for my side so this is all about the essence of software engineering thank you